All right, so get ready. Oh, yeah. Because we're about to dive into a world you probably don't think about too much. Yes. Unless it's making some pretty unpleasant noises. Oh. We are talking plumbing today. All right. And by the end of this deep dive, you'll be able to hold your own. Oh, wow. In a conversation about pipes and wrenches. Yeah. And maybe even impress a plumber or two with your newfound knowledge. I love it. So it's really amazing how something that is so essential to our everyday lives right. can be such a mystery to so many people. It really is. But understanding the basics of plumbing can not only like save you from headaches down the line, but also give you a newfound appreciation yeah. for the intricate systems that keep things flowing smoothly. For sure. Absolutely. And we have a great source to guide us. Oh. It's called 20 Vocabulary Words for Talking About Plumbing Repairs. Perfect. This deep dive is all about becoming more confident and informed when you're dealing with those inevitable, you know, leaks and drips and things. Yeah, exactly. You imagine next time you have a plumbing issue. Yeah. You can confidently discuss it with a plumber mm -hmm. using the right terminology. Right. And you actually understand what needs to be done. Exactly. No more feeling lost in a sea of jargon. You got it. No more frantically nodding along and hoping for the best. Nope. So let's start with the foundation of any plumbing system. Okay. The arteries and veins of our homes. Oh. Pipes. Ah, uh, yeah. So our source defines a pipe as a hollow cylinder okay. that carries water or other fluids. Okay. Think of them as the highways of your plumbing system. Gotcha. Transporting water to and from various destinations. So water in, yes. waste out. Exactly. Makes oh. sense. And sadly... We all know what happens yeah. when those highways get a crack in them. Yeah. Leaks. Leaks, leaks. That unwelcome drip, drip, drip. Uh, the worst. That can cause so much damage. Yeah. And send us scrambling for a bucket. Absolutely. Leaks are definitely a plumbing nemesis, I would say. Yeah. And they can be caused by a variety of factors. Okay. From corrosion to loose fittings. But, you know. Yeah. Let's move on to something a bit more positive. Okay. Something we interact with multiple times a day. The faucet. Ah, uh, yes. The faucet. Our trusty source of clean water. That's right. That ingenious little device that lets us control I know, right. the flow and temperature of water with just a simple twist or turn. So simple. I mean, it's more than just a handle, right? It is. There's a whole mechanism behind it. A whole world in there. Involving washers and valves and cartridges. Oh, yeah. All working together to provide us with water on demand. It's kind of beautiful when you think about it. It's so easy to take something like a faucet for granted. You know, until it starts oh, tell me about it. dripping incessantly. <laughs> yeah. And then suddenly you're acutely aware of all those hidden components. Right. Speaking of things we don't usually see but are essential for sanitation, let's talk about drains. Drains. Okay, these are the unsung heroes of plumbing, I think. Yeah. Whisking away wastewater from our sinks and our showers and tubs, yeah. keeping our homes hygienic and odor-free. Right. They're basically the exit ramps on our plumbing highways. And those exit ramps can get pretty backed up sometimes, huh? Oh, for sure. Cue the dreaded clog. Oh, no. Hair, soap scum, food scraps. You name it. You name it. It can end up creating a blockage in those trains. And then what do you reach for? The plunger. Yeah. The suction-powered lifesaver. Yes, the plunger. We've all had our plunger battles. Oh, tell me about it. Like a plumbing rite of passage. It's so, yeah. There's something strangely satisfying about, you know, finally dislodging a stubborn clog. Oh, I agree. But sometimes a plunger just isn't enough. Unfortunately not. Right. Right. And that's when things get a bit more complicated. Exactly. And that's where understanding some of the less obvious plumbing components yeah. can be really helpful. Like, have you ever heard of a trap? A trap. Now that sounds ominous. Like something out of a horror movie. A little bit. Is this where the sewer monsters live? Not quite. Okay, good. But a trap is actually a very clever design feature okay. that protects us from, well, sewer gases. Oh, wow. It's a U-shaped pipe okay. located beneath sinks and other drains. Gotcha. And it's designed to hold a small amount of water. Okay, so a U-shaped pipe with water. Yeah. But how does that stop sewer gases? So what's fascinating here is that the water in the trap yeah. acts as a barrier. Oh. Cool. And that prevents those unpleasant odors gotcha. from wafting back up into your home. Wow, okay. It's actually a very simple yet ingenious solution. I never realized that. Yeah. So a little bit of standing water is actually a good thing in this case. In this case, yes. I'd much rather have a trap than sewer gases seeping through my bathroom sink. I think we can all agree on that one. And speaking of things we don't see but are essential... 
Yes. Sewer lines. Sewer lines. These are the bigger players. Yeah, yes. Exactly. These are the ones that take all that wastewater away from our homes. I imagine when they back up, oh, yeah. things can get pretty messy. Yeah. And probably not something you want to tackle yourself. Definitely not a DIY project. Yeah. Uh, Sewer line issues require professional expertise. Right. And you know, in some cases, you might not even be connected to a city sewer system. Oh, really? Some homes rely on septic tanks, wow. which are basically miniature sewage treatment plants. Oh, wow. Located right on the property. Wait, a whole sewage treatment plant in your backyard? Pretty much. I never knew that. Yeah. I'm guessing those require some serious maintenance, too. Absolutely. Just like city sewer systems, yeah. septic tanks need regular care right. to prevent backups and to ensure proper waste processing. Okay. But before we delve further into the world of waste management, okay. let's talk about a plumbing component that can save you from a major headache. Okay. The shutoff valve. The shutoff valve. I've heard of that, but I honestly have no idea what it does or where to even find it in my house. Well, you're not alone, right. but trust me, this is one plumbing term you'll want to remember. Okay. A shutoff valve is basically an emergency brake for your plumbing system. Okay. It allows you to stop the flow of water in a pipe. Oh. Which can be a lifesaver in case of a leak. Oh, so if you have like a burst pipe. Exactly. You can quickly shut off the water supply to that area. That's it. And prevent further damage. You got it. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. So every homeowner should know yes. where their main shutoff valve is located. Absolutely. As well as the shutoff valves for individual fixtures mm -hmm. like toilets and sinks. Exactly. It's one of those plumbing basics yeah. that can really save you from a major disaster. A hundred percent. This is already proving to be incredibly useful. Good. I'm definitely adding locate shutoff valves to my to-do list. Good idea. But. We've only just scratched the surface here, haven't we? We have. There's a whole world of tools and techniques oh, used that. to tackle those plumbing challenges. All right, from wrenches to snakes. Yeah. There's a whole arsenal of tools designed to keep those pipes flowing smoothly. Wow. And understanding how they work can empower you to handle some basic repairs yourself. Oh, nice. Or at least communicate more effectively with a professional awesome, yeah. when needed. So let's dive into the toolbox yeah. and explore some of the essential tools used in plumbing repairs. Okay. I'm ready. First up, we have the trusty wrench. Ah, uh, the wrench. A classic for a reason. It seems like everyone has at least one of those lying around, right. even if they wouldn't know a pipe from a faucet. Exactly. It's like a toolbox staple. Yeah. Wrenches are essential for gripping and turning pipes and fittings. Okay. And they come in various types and sizes to handle all sorts of plumbing tasks. So it's not just a matter of grabbing any old wrench. No, no, no. There's a whole world of wrenches out there. A whole world of wrenches. Oh, wow. There are adjustable wrenches, pipe wrenches, basin wrenches, oh, and on. more, each designed for specific jobs. Gotcha. It's like having the right tool for the right job, right. but in the plumbing world. That makes sense. Yeah. I'm starting to see why plumbing can be so complex. It is. It is. Speaking of specialized tools, what about those snake things I've seen in oh, videos? Oh, snakes, yes. The ones that go down the drain and clear out those stubborn clogs? Officially known as a drain auger. Okay. It's a plumber's best friend Yeah. when dealing with clogs that a plunger just can't handle. They look pretty intense, to be honest. They do, they do. Like something you'd fight a monster with in a movie. I can see that. I mean, they're incredibly effective, though, right? They are, yes. How do they work? So the snake is flexible. Okay. So it can navigate those bends and curves in your pipes. Okay. And it has a grabbing mechanism at the end gotcha. to break up or pull out whatever's causing the blockage. You know, it's kind of fascinating watching those videos of people using snakes to clear drains. Really? There's something strangely satisfying yeah. about seeing all that gunk come out. I can see the appeal there. It's like a, um, like solving a puzzle. Oh, yeah. You know, figuring out what's causing the issue. Right. And then using the right tool to fix it. I like that. Yeah. All right. So we've got wrenches for gripping and turning snakes for clearing clogs. Yes. What other tool do we need in our plumbing arsenal? Okay. So let's move on to something less about brute force. Okay. And more about finesse. All right. Pipe joint compound. Pipe joint compound. This is a sticky substance used to create a watertight seal okay. between pipe threads. So it's like glue for pipes? Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Okay. It fills those tiny gaps between the threads and that's prevents not... leaks. You definitely don't want any leaks in your plumbing system. No, you don't. What about caulk? Caulk, okay. Is that in the same category as pipe joint compound? Caulk is a bit different. Oh. You're probably more familiar with it, though. Yeah, I think so. 
It's that waterproof sealant used around sinks, tubs, and other fixtures. Oh yeah, caulk. I've definitely seen that used before. It's like a flexible waterproof putty, right? Exactly. It creates a barrier between the fixture and the wall or floor, okay. preventing water from seeping in and causing damage. So we have wrenches for tightening, yeah. snakes for unclogging, mm -hmm. pipe joint compound for sealing threads, right. and caulk for waterproofing. That's right. We're becoming quite the plumbers here. They're getting there. Oh, awesome. But knowing the tools is just the first step. Right. It's also important to understand common plumbing issues. Okay. And how to address them. All right. Let's get into the nitty gritty of plumbing problems. Okay. What kind of things should we be aware of? Let's start with something called backflow. Backflow. This is an important concept because it can affect the quality of your water. Is that like when water flows backwards in the fights? You got it. Okay. Backflow happens when there's a change in water pressure. Oh, okay. That causes water to flow in the opposite direction of its intended path. Right. And this can potentially contaminate your clean water supply. Whoa. That sounds pretty serious. It can be, yeah. How does something like that even happen? There are a few ways it can happen. Okay. It can occur due to a sudden drop in water pressure. Okay. In the main supply line. Gotcha. Or even something as simple as a garden hose. Oh, wow. Just merged in a pool or bucket. Really? If the pressure drops, contaminated water can be sucked back into the clean water pipes. That's not something I ever would have thought about, especially with the garden hose example. Yeah. That's good to know. It's something most people don't realize until it's too late. Right. But it's a real risk. Wow. Fortunately, there yeah. are backflow prevention devices oh, okay. that can be installed to prevent this from happening. Backflow prevention sounds like a must-have. It is. It is. What other plumbing issues should we be on the lookout for? Another common problem is corrosion. Corrosion. This is the gradual deterioration of pipes over time okay. due to chemical reactions with water and other elements. So like rust? Similar to rust, Okay. but it's more about the pipe material breaking down. Okay. This can lead to a whole slew of problems uh, from leaks uh, to reduced water flow and even contamination. This probably happens more in older homes with older pipes, right? Older pipes are definitely more susceptible to corrosion, okay. but it can happen in newer homes too. Really? Depending on the type of piping material and water conditions. Wow, okay. It's always something to keep in mind. So how do you know if you have a corrosion problem? What are some of the signs? One of the most obvious signs is discolored water okay. coming from your taps. Gotcha. If you notice a reddish or brownish tint oh. that could indicate rust, okay. you might also detect a metallic taste to the water. That definitely doesn't sound good. No, it doesn't. I'd be calling a plumber immediately if I saw that happen. It's the smart move. Yeah. Corrosion can be a serious issue, right. and it's best to have it addressed by a professional. Right. And that brings us to the final uh, and perhaps most important term on our list, oh. the plumber. The plumber. The superhero of the plumbing world. Exactly. A plumber is a skilled tradesperson okay. who specializes in installing, repairing, and maintaining plumbing systems. Wow. So they really have to know it all, huh? They do. They do. I mean, after learning about all these pipes and clogs and backflow and corrosion issues, right. it's clear that plumbers are essential. They absolutely are. Yeah. They play a vital role in keeping our homes and businesses functioning safely and efficiently. Don't ever hesitate to call in an expert when you need help with your plumbing. Never. Okay, so we've covered a lot of ground here. We have. We've gone from feeling a bit clueless about plumbing to being able to confidently discuss pipes, wrenches, yeah. and even backflow prevention. You got it. That's the power of knowledge. It is. It is. And the best part is we're just scratching the surface. Oh, yeah. There's a whole lot more to discover about the fascinating world of plumbing. A whole lot more. Well, I'm feeling much more confident Good. about tackling any plumbing challenges that come my way. Awesome. But before we wrap things up, yeah, I'm curious about the future of plumbing. Okay. What are some innovations that could make plumbing even more efficient right. and eco-friendly? That's a great question. Yeah. I think we'll continue to see advancements in water saving technologies okay like low flow toilets and faucets right right we might also see more widespread adoption of gray water systems what's that which reuse wastewater from sinks and showers oh wow for things like irrigation that's incredible yeah. reusing water like that would make a huge difference it would it sounds like the future of plumbing is full of possibilities it really is it's kind of funny you know how Something yeah. as essential as plumbing right. is often just like 
hidden away not, behind uh, walls and under floors. Out of sight, out of mind, right. Exactly. Until there's a problem, of course. Exactly, until something goes wrong. But I think there's a certain beauty. Oh, for sure. In the complexity of a well-designed plumbing system. I agree. I mean, think about it. It's like a yeah. network of arteries and veins mm -hmm. carrying like life-sustaining water throughout a building. It is, yes. And it's not just about water delivery. Right. It's about waste removal. It is. Sanitation yep. and protecting public health. 100%. I never thought about it that way. But you're right. Yeah. It's such a vital system. It is. That keeps everything flowing. There's a lot of ingenuity and engineering yeah. that goes into making sure everything works seamlessly. It really is. We rely on it every single day, multiple times a day, mm -hmm. without even realizing it. It's easy to take it for granted. It is. Until something goes wrong. For sure. But when you really stop and consider all the different components and processes involved. Yeah. Yeah. It's remarkable. I think so, yeah. I mean, there's a whole history of plumbing innovation. There is. From the ancient Romans with their aqueducts. No, yeah, yeah. To modern advancements in water-efficient fixtures. It makes you appreciate the long lineage yeah. of ingenuity that brought us to where we are today. It does. And who knows what innovations the future holds. I know, right? Maybe we'll see even more sophisticated systems that minimize water waste yeah. and maximize efficiency. That would be amazing. Well, thanks to this deep dive, yeah. you'll be able to understand and appreciate those innovations even more. Oh, definitely. I feel like I've gained a whole new perspective on plumbing. That's what we like to hear. Yeah. We've gone from plumbing novices right. to having a solid understanding of the basics yeah. and even a glimpse into the future of this essential field. No more feeling intimidated by plumbing jargon. Yeah. Now we can decode those terms. Yeah. And impress our friends with our newfound knowledge. I love it. I have a feeling you'll never look at a faucet or a drain the same way again. You're probably right. Yeah. You'll have a newfound respect. Yeah. For those unsung heroes of our homes. And who knows? Maybe this deep dive will even inspire some future plumbers out there. That would be awesome. After all, it's a skilled trade that's always in demand. Absolutely. And plays such a vital role in our society. For sure. So there you have it, folks. That's right. A crash course in plumbing vocabulary tools, yeah. common issues, mm -hmm. and even a peek into the future of this fascinating field. Remember, knowledge is power. It is. And now you have the power to tackle those plumbing challenges with confidence. And if all else fails... Yeah. Don't hesitate to call in a professional. Absolutely. Well said. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of plumbing. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Stay curious. Stay plumbing savvy. Keep learning. And as always, thanks for joining us on The Deep Dive.